Hello, this is Tom and Shirley with the Florida Agents. Today we're going to talk about one of our favorite subjects, Winter Garden versus Claremont. There's so many people relocating here and you've probably heard of the two different cities and you want to know what's the difference? You know, what does one have that the other one doesn't? Well, today we're going to break it down with you and we'll be right back. They've been waiting for this. Okay, right out of the gate, I'm going to put this out there. We love both Claremont and Winter Garden, and I would live in either place. They're both yes, great we would. cities. Yes, we, would. we get a lot of calls from people, and they want to know about both places. The cool thing is, even though they're next door to each other, they're very different in so many ways, and we want to kind of get into that. Yeah, they're both west of uh, you know Orlando, but uh, they have uh, all charm of their own, you know? Yeah, and they're both close to Disney, so you can't go wrong there if you love Disney. Claremont is about 42,000 people, and the Winter Garden's about 47,000. So let's get started. So even though the cities are almost next to each other, they're in different counties. Claremont is in Lake County, and Winter Garden is in Orange County. You get a little bit more of a savings, a little less expensive to live in Lake County. You save on property taxes, insurance, car insurance, health insurance. So that's something that a lot of people think about. Yeah, and if that's important to you, then Lake County may be the place to go. But the opposite side is transportation. Um, in Winter Garden, you're closer to, if you're working in Orlando and you have to drive other places, you're closer to the interstate, you're closer to these places, so it may cost you more in expenses like gas and uh, upkeep with your vehicle and stuff like that. But as far as housing goes, Lake County is more reasonable and you can get more for your money. I think the average home in Claremont, the average is mid upper twos where the average in Winter Garden is, is mid threes. So it is a little costlier to buy in Winter Garden than it is in Claremont. Claremont is known for its rolling hills and pristine lakes. It feels a little bit rural, but it's not. It's city and it's close to everything. And uh, you wouldn't really think you're in Florida when you're going through the, what we're calling the hilly, rolling hill area. It's, it's very unique. And it's one of the fastest growing cities in Central Florida. Now Winter Garden has that old Florida charm. The uh, cities, uh, you know, well, over a decade ago, did a total redo downtown. You know, you have the cobble streets, the, uh, the two-level stores with all the shops, coffee shops, restaurants down there. It's real charming. Yeah, it is. It a is. lot of people, even if you live in Claremont, you go over to Winter Garden, you know, or vice versa. They both have unique things to them. Yeah, they're so close together, you can go to either one to, uh, you know, take advantage of them. Yeah. You know I love shopping. Yes, you do. <laughs> so my favorite place to shop is in Winter Garden. Winter Garden has the Winter Garden Village that is to die for. You can go shopping, you can you can go to the restaurants, they have furniture stores, you name it, and it's all in one really cute village. Um, so it's kind of like its own little area. Where so uh, shopping's her thing, but uh, I, I don't mind just shopping in Claremont. Claremont's a little more spread out, but it's got restaurants and shops. Uh, there's a corridor on 50 where you can go up and down and find places to go to, a lot of different places, and another corridor down 27 that has uh, restaurants and places to shop as well. So I'm fine with that as well. But it's kind of like it has its own little area. Yeah. So they're kind of, it's more spread out where in Winter Garden, it's all together. So you have like a one-stop shop which is cool, you know. She likes it. I like it. Let's talk about the downtowns. Both have historical downtowns. Winter Garden had uh, an area, has an area called Plant Street. It is a cool place and, to you know, visit. It's got the cobble, cobblestone streets and it has the rooftop restaurants and bars that are down there, the coffee shops. Little the museums. Little museums. Little boutique shops. They have a brewery with restaurants in there. So they've done a great job over the last 10 years just converting that into, you would never know and what it was before. And it's one long street. You just go down one long street, you park, and, and then 
They even have a farmer's market down there. So let's talk about Claremont's historic area downtown. Now Claremont is up and coming. Uh, they have a $22 million uh, uh, master plan and they've started redoing their downtown. They're putting in the paver or brick streets as well. They've, uh, they've, they're putting in breweries and restaurants, so they're in the same and path, I think. And I think what's a little bit different with Claremont versus Winter Garden, Claremont has a beautiful waterfront. So in Winter Garden, you're going down one long street. In Claremont, you're going up a hill to several streets and then back down, and then you have the whole beautiful lake that you and can enjoy. And they have, uh, you know, they're putting in this art walk that's going to lead down to the lake. They do have restaurants on the lake, so it is a, it's a, it's a work in progress it's a work right in now. Progress, but, but it's going to be phenomenal when it's finished. You can see the potential. Yes. yes. You know, water sports are a big deal around here. So I, my pick. If you're going, if you love boating and you're into skiing and all that fun stuff, would be Claremont. Yeah, Claremont's on the chain of lakes. It's 11 lakes that are connected together, and you can actually go from lake to lake. Uh, you know, sometimes you got to lower the top down when you're going under a couple bridges, but uh, yeah, you can get to all those lakes, and you see tons of uh, kayaking. Uh, There's jet skis out there. Um, and they also have restaurants on the water that you can pull your boat right up to. Yeah, you just beach it. You just go up and beach it and go to the restaurant. Yeah. It's pretty neat. And there's other ones you can actually dock. They have a dock that you can tie up to and go to the bar or restaurant yeah. as well. So there's lilies on the lake. It's at the waterfront in the downtown Claremont area that we just talked about. And then there's the Tiki Bar, which is right around the lake. Um, and that's fun. Yeah, Winter Garden is on a really big lake, Lake of Popkin, some smaller lakes, but it's not quite the same as uh, what goes on in, in no, the lakes. No, I would definitely be in Claremont if I'm on the water. Both Claremont and Winter Garden have biking, running trails to go on. They have parks to go to, uh, golfing galore, but... But in Claremont, there's Lake Louisa State Park where you can go horseback riding, you can go glamping, you can Kayaking, camp. canoeing, um, there's just uh, so much to do. It uh, has its own little beach, you can go there. And, you know, let's mention beaches. Claremont actually has a beach in downtown, in the historic downtown. White sand, you can walk in the water, swim in the water. Um, and there's even the events that go on year round, uh, triathlons and uh, all kinds of events Yeah, down there's there. a lot of, uh, the Olympic training goes on down there and they will hold triathlon events throughout the year. So it's sort of cool to see You them. see kids and mm -hmm. adults uh, participating in these and it's known for the ch choice of champions, uh, Claremont. So there's there's so many active things happening in Claremont. Winter Garden and Claremont both are still building new homes. The difference is Winter Garden is already really built up, so yes. it's already very established. They don't have as much land as Claremont has right. to work with. So there's so much happening right now in Claremont that's so exciting. That's going to be a game changer for Claremont. Let's talk a little bit about the Wellness yeah, Way. Off of uh, Highway 27, it's easy to sort of market with that. Uh, there's a what they're calling the Wellness Way corridor, where there's uh, this master plan over the next handful of years for new uh, neighborhoods and homes to go in. There's going to be shopping and restaurants. There's a development that they've started called Olympus. Well, there's actually going to eventually be an Olympic facility stadium there. Entertainment venues, a restaurants, hotel, hotel. And like I said, neighborhoods with these scenic views uh, that are just unbelievable right. there in the hills. So the difference is Winter Garden is already established. It, although they're still building, Winter Gar uh, Claremont has so much land yeah. that they're developing right now. It's going to be amazing. And it's going to bring in thousands of new jobs to the area. Yes. If you love extreme sports, Claremont might be your place. They have two unique places, one called Jet Surf Orlando. It's basically a motorized uh, surfboard. It's pretty cool. And it's pretty popular around the world. And I think it just came to 
uh, the United States not too long ago. And so they have a place where you go. It's real. It's a real private lake, and um, it's really cool. Watch, just to go out and watch. We didn't try it, but I think I might one day. So. And we also have Revolution Adventure. That is another really cool place. Yeah, they have uh, four wheeling. Um, they, you know, the, the trucks that are a little bit bigger that multiple people go like in. Like the mud, uh, mud trucks. Mud or whatever. trucks. Yeah, and then they have archery. Um, skeet ball I yeah believe. skeet ball shooting yeah so. so there's a lot of fun things to do there and you don't really know that they're there because they're kind of like hidden in the back roads of claremont so there's some really cool stuff and one of your favorite things is the winery oh yeah we have our own winery here and it's pretty cool because uh, besides making their own wine here they uh they grow the grapes and they have grape stomps at different times during the year and there's and a lot festivals. of festivals monthly they have yeah. like and this is during the the good times but they have um rib festival yeah. blues festival live um, bands you yeah. bring your chair you put it down and you've had the food trucks and you know and it's just a fun and it's, time it's in the hills and the view from the winery is pretty neat as well so so it's if nice. this is your thing it may be claremont but again winter garden if you need to be close and you work in the city and you work you know in other areas access is, access a, lot easier. is a lot easier from winter garden so it really depends on what you're looking for and we just want to say in close I would live in either place. Yeah. They're both great. They both and have beautiful neighborhoods. You can, it, you know, whether it's Winter Garden or whether it's Claremont, you, you know, people that live in Winter Garden come over to Claremont to take, you know, to take in all the fun stuff yeah. and vice versa. You know, people from Claremont go to Plant Street and, and enjoy their downtown, their historic area, and their shopping. Yes. So she loves her shopping. I love my shopping. So there's something for everyone. It's just, what do you want? Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions about the area, you're relocating here, or maybe it's other areas that we didn't discuss today. It call, doesn't have to be just Claremont or Winter Garden. No, we do it all. So call, text, email us. We do have some buyer guides and a relocation guide below. It's free, so download that. And I know there's a lot to learn about new areas. We're excited about the areas and we'd love to show you around. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. When you ring the bell, that means you'll see all our new videos as they come out. We do it weekly. And we'll see you soon.